folks. God bless you guys. Welcome to This Is It, 4321 Before the Fire. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, guys, listen. This is just a quick drop, and I just had to drop in on you guys. Whew. Okay, listen. Here we go. I'm going to calm down. The road trip that I took, if you watched the other video, was about getting me to go lay hands on a friend of mine, which I don't really get to do. The Lord use that as a way to get me on a road trip to show me we've come full circle. The entire trip was a way to show me that we've come full circle. And I got to pray with Jack and Mary in a very unusual way. And the Lord has communicated to me the significance of how we prayed and what it meant. And it literally does mean the end of the circle, the end of the hindecogram has come. Now, listen, guys. I'm doing this video because a couple things happened today that I just was like, oh, no way. So I want you guys to be in on it right away. I don't want to give it a day to cool off. I want you to understand. Okay, so the entire road trip culminated, you know, after going to see Jack and giving him the ring with the Our Father prayer on it, the ring that spins in a circle within its own channel, and then praying with Jack and Mary with our hands folded like this together, and Mary's like this, and the Lord revealing it to, to me that it's literally the opposite of the system we're in, where there's female on both sides of a male. It's the opposite male on both sides of a female. And it's the restoration of the system. And then he had me look at the, the geometric shape that it formed and how it was the Fibonacci code. And I mean, my mind was so blown. I was like, I almost didn't have any words. I mean, I was like, what in the world? And then I leave Jack and Mary and I I go see my friend Kat and on the way there, uh, my last des my last destination, Siri saying, turn on Church Street, now take a ride on a uh, hand circle and you you've arrived at the destination. And the destination in the Strongs literally means L has gathered. Hang on one sec, watch this. Okay, so let me back up. Here you go. Ready? So I arrive at my destination after going to lay hands, praying in this full circle, and then I end up at an address that means, watch, let me show you what just happened right now. Watch. It says, God has created or God has taken possession. Um, Down here, I, and I thought it was, has gathered, but it, it's God has taken possession in one of the other, uh, in one of the other uh, formats of the Strongs, I believe it's L has gathered, but the name right here is El Kana, C E L, which is El the Almighty God, Kana has taken possession or gathered. So that's what the address in it. the The name of the street was Hand Circle. So what I did is I said. Dave, would you please do me a favor? And this was yesterday. I said, Dave, I need you to make the hindecogram, you know, the, the 11 pointed star that the Statue of Liberty is standing on. I want you, instead of having two triangles at the top that have eyes in them, I want you to have two hands going opposite directions, just like the two eyes going opposite directions. And at the bottom, the two eyes meet. Well, I want the two hands coming together. And I told Dave to do that yesterday, to please do that. So let me show you what, what he did, and then we're going to keep moving. So here is the full circle folder right here. Here is the hindecogram that I asked Dave to do. And this is what y'all have seen many times, where there's one eye that's red, there's one eye that's blue. They go opposite directions, and then they come down here at the bottom, and the two become one. And there's my V for vengeance right in the middle, right down there at the bottom. So the, the blue triangle and the red triangle, having made the full circle to the bottom of the hindecogram, by the way, which is the female rivals system. Don't forget, the Great Tribulation is the time of the female rival. Okay, so that's her system. The host body system, the flesh, is her system. So at the end of the hindecogram, when the two come together, I've been telling y'all that's when all hell is going to break loose. Okay, so now Dave put that in there yesterday for me. Yesterday morning, you know, I, I had gotten back from my trip on Sunday. And so Monday morning, uh, kind of early, I went with Corey. There's a coffee trailer. And I went over to this coffee trailer, and uh, one of the guys that 
the guy that owns it, he wasn't there. And I just said, hey, how's it going? They're like, hey, so-and-so. I just won't mention names. So-and-so, yeah, he's off getting a tattoo this morning at 8 o'clock in Austin, Texas. And I was like, oh, wow. He must really like his tattoo artist, right? And so I thought, well, that's cool. And so anyway, so then this morning I went over there and the owner was there and I said, hey, uh, what'd you get? Like, what kind, of, what, what kind of tattoo did you get? Just trying to be friendly. And he's like, oh, uh, here. And he shows me his tattoo. <laughs> okay, now don't forget the end of the hindecogram. I had this made yesterday. I said, what'd you get on your tattoo? And he shows me, and there's his tattoo right there. So the two hands coming together. Okay, now let me just add this right next to it so we can look at them together. Here we go, full circle. Here we go, full circle. So imagine you're me, and you know that your entire road trip was about the Lord taking you full circle to where you knew the end of the hindecogram had arrived, which is down here at the bottom. The two triangles come together, the V for vengeance, like Milli Vanilli, the M, and coming together down at the bottom is the V, the, the culmination of the system where, the, where the, the witch, the monster, the female rival, takes over the host body system, okay? So check it out. So then when I said, what'd you get on your tattoo? Look at the tattoo right here. There it is. I was like, oh my God. Now here's the part that's crazy. Right when he showed it to me, I went, oh my God, that's the, I went, that's the end of the endecogram. That's the two coming together as one, you know? And these guys banter with me all the time. Like, it's like got that angel of the bottomless pit picking at Jonathan uh, vibe every time. And when I said that, they just went, they were like, they, it was like I was getting ready to get you know, when you're in a bar and you say the wrong thing in front of a group of other guys that are like, excuse me? <laughs> and so I'm like, wow, that's the end of the endecogram. And I go, yeah, that's the same as the 11 point of star that Statue of Liberty stands on. I go, wow, you know, representing our freedom and the host body system and blah. <laughs> and they're just like, and this other guy, and then the guy that got the tattoo says, I was going to get the all seen eye, but that, I thought it was a little too harsh. And all of a sudden his demeanor changes like, kind of hateful and angry and i'm like yeah and then the other guy standing next to him pulls up his sleeve and he's got a tattoo of an arm that's been cut off like and uh, like if i cut my arm off right here and then there was the artery sticking out and on the palm was the all-seeing eye representing that other race of beings cutting our arm off getting rid of our other eye. And he shows it to me in a hostile way. Like, look at this, brah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, wow, check that out. I was just like, oh, wow, check it out. <laughs> and so I was like, that's that's really awesome. Oh, wow, thanks. Let, uh, let me see that. And then I came home and I'm like, okay, I got to go back and get a photo of that. So I went back a little later. I'm like, hey, man, could I see that again? And he showed it to me on his phone this time. And so he's like, uh, yeah, here it is. And now check it out. Here comes the punchline. Ready? So there's the two hands coming together. Is there any difference? So the Lord told me, you've come full circle, Johnny. Here it is. You've come full circle, which is the end of the endecogram. The time of the female arrival. Right here is what you're looking at. And there you go. There and there. There and there. <laughs> there and there. I'm like, oh, my God. So I... When I go back and I say, hey, can I get a picture of it? It was awkward for sure. And, he, and instead of showing it to me on his arm, then he just gets his phone out and shows it to me on his phone. But I had my opinion. I just went click and I photographed it with my phone. And then he says, pay attention, Johnny. And I'm like, oh, weird. Because I hear the Lord tell me, Jonathan, pay attention. I'm trying to show you something. But then he says, hey, pay attention, Johnny. And I'm like, excuse me? He goes, pay attention. Y'all ready? And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, there's nail polish on the fingers. And I'm like, oh my God. And I'm like, oh wow. And I've and so see the nail polish on this hand, nail polish on that hand. The twin female system is closed. Do you get it? I was like, so the Lord's just confirming everything. Okay, it gets even crazier. 
Well, one of the one of the people that follows the ministry on the last video, I said when I had left the Ballantine Hotel there in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, the Lord told me go back and document it, Jonathan. Go back and document the hotel that the 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 mirrors are eyes that the the drive throughs a half like a a half a circle like half a rainbow. Go back and document all that stuff. And so I was like, okay. And for some reason. I blurted out on the video y'all saw yesterday. I was like, yeah, it's a uh, five. Let's see. Let's see. Where was it? Hey, Johnny, another awesome video. You said it was 951 and you were heading back to the hotel and checkout was at 11. I didn't hear you mention you looked up 951, but I did. And so then I see this and I'm like, wait a minute. And I look at, look at this confirmation confirmation ratification establishment no way i mean validated is guaranteed ready validated is guaranteed <laughs> shit i was like no way that's insane okay now y'all ready for more insane okay so i told you when i ended up at uh you know the hand circle so the two hands coming to going opposite directions in a circle, hand circle. I was like, that's insane. And the, the number of the address means God has, God has taken possession, okay? But just now while I was getting ready to do this video, I popped it open and I was like, wait a minute. So that same address means higher to a more honorable place previously in an earlier passage above our book. So to a higher, it means higher, to a more honorable place. Mm -hmm. Now you want to see what happened with Marjorie Taylor Greene busting uh, our own fake government for not uh, doing the right thing? You want to see this? Watch this. Y'all know what global infitata is? Have you ever heard of it? Global Infitata is global jihad. Remember I did the uh, leave the world behind uh, breakdown where, you know, Barack Obama, higher ground productions did the leave the world behind. And it's just a in your face of Islamic global Infitata because in the movie they're flying over dropping pamphlets with a serpent on it saying submit to Islam. Yeah, that's what's in the whole movie. And remember the Friends episode at the end was about a set of twins? Yeah? Okay, you want to see crazy? <laughs> Watch this. Okay, they made a point to have this fake insurrection thing where they went and they arrested a whole bunch of people that didn't do a thing wrong, a bunch of grandmas, grandpas, people that were not doing a thing wrong. And Nancy Pelosi, God have mercy on your soul, because obviously she was part of the setup because she called off all the, you know, the National Guard that could have been there or any of that stuff. It was a setup. So anyway, here's what's fascinating. They're hunting down all these people from uh, January 6th. They've been sitting in jail for since they got rounded up. Now, watch this. You want to see crazy? Global infitata means, and I quote, global jihad. Let me just show you a picture of it in Strong's. There you go. Here you go. Global infitata. It's global jihad right here. That's what it's all about. With And it's Hamas. Okay, so which is the absolute sworn enemy of the United States. Okay, ready? Watch this. Watch this little clip right here. Let's see, where is it? Here you go. So Marjorie, Marjorie Taylor Greene is asking Christopher Ray, why are you guys going around arresting all these old people that were at January 6th, hunting them down like dogs, kicking in their doors, dragging them to jail, locking them up? When, and in the meantime, there's a, a group that occupied one of the Capitol buildings and the lady that was the organizer got caught holding her cell phone. She got caught holding her cell phone. One of the cameras caught her cell phone. And the woman that had that cell phone was the head attorney for the Southern Poverty Law Center, which was the group that was hunting down the January 6th people. And on her phone, you know what it said? Global Infitata, why they're occupying a United States 
federal building. Stop and think about that. That would mean that the federal government is with them and against the people that the old people that they're arresting and dragging down for January 6th for a peaceful thing. But it's okay to be global infitata and in occupying a, a building. <laughs> what does the Bible say? In the end, they'll call good bad and bad good. Woe unto them who call good bad and bad good. Woe unto them. And I mean it. Those God have mercy on the world right now, guys. Because the end of the hindagram is here. The Lord just proved it. Just proved it. If I couldn't read that as proof, then I couldn't read. I'm telling you, after this happened this morning, I went with Corey to breakfast, and there was a group of three guys that were behind the counter that were at the, and they were talking like guys in a bar that were ready to fight. And it was directed towards me, and Corey sitting next to me, and I was just like, whatever. They were just... It was like a bar scene where you knew they were just ready to come over and let's get at it. I'm not kidding. It was wild. I was like, check this out, dude. This is getting crazy. <laughs> Woo! Yes, here we go. All right. Listen to what she says. Listen to how bad it's getting. I haven't seen on the news where the FBI is hunting them down with helicopters, tanks in the streets, raiding their homes with flashbangs targeting these people, watching these people, throwing them in jail for them to stay in pre-trial in solitary confinement for years before they ever face trial. You want to know what this says? I'll tell you. This is one of the organizer's phones, and this is a chat, and it says at the top, Global Intifada. Now, while we're talking about terrorism today, are you familiar with the term Intifada? Uh, I've certainly heard the term. Do you know the definition? I'm not going to try to define it. but It means Arab uprising or jihad. Are you concerned about jihad in this country? I, I am, and I have consistently testified to that Shut effect. Up. Yes, but are you interested in using the, the FBI? You are the director of the FBI. Do you hunt down terrorists in our country? Those that would be responsible for jihad? Absolutely. And that's why we've had jihadist inspired terrorism at our highest national threat priority level since the day that I started as FBI director. Do you still use the Southern Poverty Law Center as a source? You, you use them. The FBI used the Southern Poverty Law Center as a source when targeting Catholics. Are you still using the Southern Poverty Law Center as a source? Congresswoman, what I think you're referring to is the so-called Richmond intelligence product, uh, which we, as soon as I learned about it, I was horrified, withdrew it. We had an inspection done, and part of the problem that we found with that particular product, by that particular office, is precisely what you're talking about, the reliance on uh, the Southern Poverty Law Center and the way in which they relied on it. Well, you relied on the Southern Poverty Law Center, but I would have you know, Mr. Ray, that... This one right here, this person involved in the global Intifada group that illegally, they broke the law, came in and occupied the Cannon Office House building, interrupted Congress, interrupted hearings. Right here, Katrina Bleakley is the lead attorney for the Southern Poverty Law Center. Were you aware of this? Uh, uh, Congresswoman, as I said, I haven't seen the photos that you're holding up uh, before. Maybe, well, I posted them on my Twitter account. It's, it's public. You know, maybe I don't you guys spend are, a lot of time on Twitter. Well, you know, you, you sh oh, I'm sure you do, because the Department of Homeland Security, organized with other offices, has censored many Americans, including myself. I'm not me, part of the Department of Homeland Security. <laughs> uh, right, Mr. Ray, you should, you, should be, you should be interested in investigating terrorism. And this right here is proof that we had terrorists in our own office building. Global Intifada. Okay, and there you go. So now just do the math, folks. Do you know where you're at? The time of the female rival is here. The time has arrived. The whole trip was about coming full circle. I just did a video on it showing you that the end of this world has come and it's time for a new world. That's why he showed me that. That's why he had us all hold hands like this. And I, I had to take strips of paper and make three X's and put them together because to, I was trying to understand it. And I'm like, oh, wow, it makes a hexagram. And that's when the Lord just said, okay, here's what I want you to do. And he did it right in front of Zach. And I'm telling you, how else would I be able to very confidently say, yeah, I'm the time of the female rivals here. Now, remember Barack Obama did that thing about a red wedding? Merrick Garland. 
Security, bar the doors. Bar the doors. Security, let's do this right here. Mary, Judge Mary Garland, let's do this right here, right now. It's like a red wedding. Yeah, like a red wedding. Wow, let me show you something about this thing. See the wedding ring on the hand? <laughs> See, like, look at that. He said, pay attention, Johnny. Pay attention. That was something talking through him. It wasn't him talking. It's here. Anyway, and the, if you can't feel it in society, if you're if you're a sheep and you can't feel this, man, you're deaf, dumb, and blind. It's coming. Our borders are down. They are flooding it with, you know, fighting age men, and they are handing our country over to the, the global government, which is Satan's government right now. That's what's going on. All right. I wanted to share this with you. I love you guys in Christ. Don't be afraid, Christians. Keep going. The king's coming. It's going to get interesting. All right. Peace and grace.